Hi there, Steve Cosgrove with Inside Travel. Today we're gonna to talk about travel insurance and if you need it. So do you need travel insurance? Absolutely not, it's a waste of money. Right up until you need it. It's the best investment you ever had at that point. Now there are several types of travel insurance you should consider and look at. One would be the vendor insurance, the cancellation insurance from the cruise line, for example, or the tour company. That's gonna cover you for cancellation. That's typically gonna cover you for medical. You need to look at their policies and their rules. How are they do the refund? Are they gonna give you cash back or is it a credit towards a future trip? Okay, does it cover pre-existing conditions? Many times it will if you've taken it out at the time you make the booking, not when you make the final payment. So if you have a pre-existing condition for yourself or a family member, you need to take out that travel insurance as soon as you make the booking so that you're covered. Then there's third-party insurance. This will cover you for medical travel insurance or travel cancellation. You can buy just the travel cancellation. You can buy just the medical. Now, if you're traveling outside the country, typically your work insurance does not cover you if you're on vacation. Also, Medicare does not cover you if you're out of the country, although someone said if you're on Plan L or one of those, it does. So check with your insurance agent to see if you're covered if you travel outside the country. Traveling outside the country includes the minute you step on a cruise ship, say in the Port of Miami. Once you're on that ship, technically speaking, by most insurance rules, you're out of the country at this point. First, let's look at the cancellation rules. If you needed to cancel for your trip because you're father was in a car accident, your kid was in a car accident, if it's an immediate family member, then you're usually covered. Not so much if it's your cousin twice removed. Okay, so do you need to take that out? You know, in cases where I've got a large group going and it's a, a big family, family reunion, grandpa, grandma, aunts, uncles, kids, cousins, it's very smart to take it because if something happens to grandpa, everybody in the group is going to want to cancel. If he's in ICU or Unfortunately, he died two days before the trip started. Nobody's gonna to wanna to go on the trip. They're all gonna to wanna to cancel. They have the cancellation insurance, okay? From a medical standpoint, okay? If you go over there and you slip and fall on the cobblestone in Rome, twisting a knee and you don't have insurance, the hotel or the hospital is gonna want cash up front. You probably don't have that much cash on you. Probably you may not be able to get it out of your bank. Okay, same on a cruise ship. You fell down the stairs on the cruise ship, they want to see insurance or they want cash up front or they're not gonna treat you. So you wanna take it out. Don't expect the vendor to give you a refund because you didn't take out travel insurance because you had a tragedy at the last minute. That's why there's insurance. If they were to refund you, they feel they're basically penalizing everyone who took out the travel insurance. So don't assume that the vendor will understand and give you your refund back when stuff happens. I had a case where a gentleman was going on a cruise. He absolutely knew he was going to go on that cruise. There was no question in his mind. And literally two days before, his father died. He had a choice to make. Either go on the cruise or stay behind for dad's funeral and cough up, basically lose the cost of the cruise. Tough decision. Had he had insurance, he would have been covered. No, the vendor did not make an exception and grant him a refund just because his dad died because he had turned down the insurance. If you have a, a heart attack in Brazil, do you want to have your treatment there at the hospital in Brazil or do you want to be flown home on a medevac airplane? That's quite expensive. Travel insurance, you're going to be covered with that. So again, travel insurance is a waste of money until you need it. Think of it this way. You have car insurance. You've had car insurance for years. You've not had a claim. You wasted that money, didn't you? You shouldn't have paid it. You've got a home insurance. You haven't had a claim on your home insurance policy in years. Is that wasted money? Travel insurance is the same thing. It's wasted money until you need it, and then you're gonna find it's the best investment you ever had. So should you take out travel insurance when you go? Absolutely. This is Inside Travel, I'm Steve Cosgrove. If you liked the video, make some comments there below, share our video, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, I'm Steve Cosgrove.